In this video, we will demonstrate the transnasal approach intubation with EVAS bronchoscope. First, the position of the scope. We need to ensure that the EVAS probe faces the nasal septum before inserting the scope through the nostril. In this case, we have chosen the left nostril for which we had performed a clockwise rotation maneuver to put the EBAS probe in position. It is important to mention that the shaft of the scope must be straight and not bent at all times. Once the scope is in position, we will proceed to advance it gently through the nose in between the turbinate passages. During this part, there will be no visualization since the camera is facing the nasal septum. We will advance the bronchoscope until resistance is met. The presence of resistance means that the tip of the scope has reached the posterior wall of the nasopharynx, for which we shall not advance the scope any further in order to prevent trauma. Instead, we will perform a rotation maneuver with the scope to position the EBAS probe anteriorly at 12 o'clock position, like you see in the video, and apply gentle anteroflexion. This will align the scope to follow the lining of the nasopharynx and allow it to advance into the oropharynx until the epiglottis is visualized. During this part, suction can be applied to allow better visualization of the anatomical structures. A jaw thrust maneuver, like is seen in the video with the same hand of the bronchoscope, could also help to allow better visualization of the epiglottis. Visualization of epiglottis will be seen in slow motion in this video. We will position the scope under the epiglottis and advance towards the vocal cords, specifically towards the anterior commissure of the vocal cords and not to the center of them like we do with a standard bronchoscope. Right after we pass the scope through the vocal cords, we apply a slight retroflexion with the scope in order to align with the anatomical angle between the larynx and the proximal trachea. Finally, the scope is already into the trachea. In summary, transnasal approach intubation with EVAS bronchoscope is an alternative technique while using motorized sedation. Choosing between right or left depends on patency of nose passage. The nose passage will provide a steadiness of the bronchoscope. Nose bleeding could be a complication in unexperienced hands.